and drifted around the world. I'm sorry. Your father never wanted you. Human life isn't meant to be manipulated like that. I knew that, but I wanted you. After Big Boss left, Zero really lost control. What Zero wanted was an orderly world, one governed by La Zero. Malo. His fortune grew through countless wars, and his words influenced decision-making all the way up to the Oval Office. As the world saw the rise of digital technology, IT, the internet, and genetics, the Patriots' power grew immense. Their roots spread and took hold throughout the globe. In time, they began to dictate the fate of entire nations from the shadows. And before we knew it, the Patriots, the proud police of the world, started bringing an entire planet Cero culiado entonces. Ahora la partida sí. Bueno, está muy buena esta historia, weón. Bueno. Cada vez se pone mejor, weón. Bueno. bueno, todo esto me contaron cosas del Peace Walker, pero no las comentaré porque serían spoiler. Así que no la haré. Their intentions were fair, but their execution was flawed. Zero developed weapons amassed armies, used information for extortion, all in order to gain more wealth. He was obsessed with controlling awareness on the inside from the outside. But, Pero? I cannot imagine that's what the boss would have wanted. They both misinterpreted her will. and their absolute reverence for her drove them apart. So began the war between Zero and Big Boss. Opposing interpretations, each striving to realize the boss's will. Everything you see today stems from their cold war. Guerra entre mercenario, terrorista y... Política. Race, in religion, in ideology. This war they've caused is no different from any other human error in history. It all started with a tiny fork in the path and grew into a great rift. There was nothing left of the boss's noble will in their struggle. All that remained was hatred, a passion to destroy one another. Big Boss returned to the U.S. with a plan in mind, and once again assumed command of Foxhound. In Outer Heaven, and then Zanzibar Land, Big Boss plotted coup d'etat against Zero. But you, Solid Snake, his own clone, foiled his efforts both times. En los juegos de Metal Gear 1 y Metal Gear 2. Frank Yeager. Were left near death. Zero recovered their bodies. Frank Yeager's entire body was reconstructed through surgery. And he was reborn as the cyborg ninja. Big Boss, now a vegetable, became a prisoner of Zero even in death. For Zero, more than anyone else, your father was an irreplaceable icon. No, the truth is, for Zero, he was an irreplaceable friend. After Big Boss's betrayal, Zero could no longer believe in something so uncertain as life. He lost his belief in everything, nations, organizations, individuals. Zero was no longer willing to place his organization in the hands of the next generation. Instead, he set up a network of AIs, a decision-making system formed from all the information he had accumulated. He built four AIs, GW, TJ, AL, and TR, as sort of a digital Mount Rushmore, and wow. one core artificial intelligence to unite them, John Doe. GW, 
same GW we destroyed five years ago? The same. Ever since GW was cut off, JD and the other three AIs have controlled all information on every aspect of global society. Economics, de... politics, law, morals, and culture. In the Metal Gear is no exception. In the shadow of this system and its complete control over the world, Big Boss isn't allowed to live or die. He's trapped for eternity in a brain-dead prison. To bind himself to his friend, to ensure his rule over the world, Zero transformed Big Boss into an icon, neither living nor dead. Sounds almost like a religion. Naturally, Ocelot and I plan to free him from Zero's prison. We enlisted Naomi Hunter, an authority in the field of nanomachine research, into our organization. And we used Frank Yeager to kill Dr. Clark. Yeah. Ocelot tortured the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, also known as Sigmund, to death, and made it look like an accident. The Shadow Moses incident. Moses. With paramedic and Sigmund dead, Zero was the only one left. But we too paid a price. I lost Ocelot. Ocelot wasn't fighting for the Pentagon or the Russians, and certainly not for Zero. He was fighting for Big Boss. He idolized him. Desde la pelea que tuvieron. When Ocelot grafted Liquid's right arm to his own, his body was taken over by Liquid's thoughts and spirit. He may be Ocelot in physical form, but his mind is Liquid's. I was the last one. No. And then, someone appeared to help me. Right. It was when I met him that I finally discovered the location of Big Boss. It was in the data he obtained from GW. Together, he and I retrieved Big Boss. But Big Boss was still asleep, as Zero had left him. Why did Zero keep him alive? People need heroes. Zero wanted to create a messiah. Yeah. A legend that would never die. Liquid is after Big Boss's body. Is it here? I'll take you to meet him. El cuerpo de Big Boss con Chetumar. This is his pix, his holy ark. Desde que lo quemó Snake en el Metal Gear 2. is alive, but his consciousness is locked away by nanomachines. So technically speaking, he's not really brain dead. We can't allow Liquid to inherit the same sins that corrupted Zero. Manipulating people's minds for the sake of his own ego. <laughs> I didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> I could put that in the tank, The experiment can't succeed without her. You think she went back to liquid? Uh, what about Bryden? 
Mierda, es esa que me estaba siguiendo. Hey you. Come here. Esta wea es máquina. Ah, ya, esa wea. What the hell is that? Move. Bueno, por algo era la madre. Así es. Un gordo de la mina rica, uh.